So when you ask the question about hydrogen being the fuel of the future, I would very clearly say yes. But it's not only the fuel of the future, it's already here today. And we see that all around. We see cars running on hydrogen, buses, forklift trucks, trains. And there will be many other types of vehicles in the, in the next few years that run on hydrogen and where hydrogen is the fuel of today. So what do we need to do as a society to get hydrogen more to the fore, to have it much more active in our, in our fuel food? I think one of the things that's really important is to understand where hydrogen has a competitive advantage over other zero emission technologies. Really the question, what's the difference that makes a difference? And what we see is, um, one is range compared to other zero emission, zero emission technologies. One is a very, very quick refueling. So whenever productivity is important for you, go for hydrogen. What role will a corporation play in making hydrogen a success? So corporation, I think, is really a crucial cornerstone for making hydrogen a success. No single company, no matter whether it's a big one like Toyota or whether it's General Motors or whether it's Shell, no single company, no single country, no matter whether it's the United States or China, will be able to push that forward on their own. So we need cooperation between different industry players, that's vehicle manufacturers, that's industrial gas companies like our company, that's uh, oil and gas companies that have retail outlets already out there, uh, that's utilities in many cases, and that's governments that support the early years of that, of that technology. That type of cooperation will be really crucial. Why has it taken so long for it to be, become talked about, if you like? I mean, as you say, it's been around for quite a while. So why are we only starting to make a fuss about it now? I think it's a couple of things why it's, been, why, why it's taken so long. Um, I think one is um, sometimes it happens that people generate exaggerated expectations. And that may have been the case back then. Uh, the other one is that the technology is, is not trivial to master. And it takes time to really develop that technology, both on the, on the vehicle side, as well as on the, on the station and, and uh, hydrogen production side. Um, and the other thing is, in my eyes, really, the existing technologies are so refined. And there is so much choice for consumers, no matter whether it's cars, whether it's buses, whether it's trains. Uh, the existing solutions are, relatively speaking, very, very low cost. Um, so it's an uphill battle, it, it has been an uphill battle. And um, the, the last point in my eyes is really, when you go from, say, a combustion engine car, a combustion engine bus, uh, to a hydrogen vehicle, most of the benefits go to society, not to the individual user. And that's why we think, again, um, tailwind from society, which means government funding, is really required as well.